This is Real News Media TV. Coverage you can trust. Man behind bars on murder charge after six-month probe. The St. Catherine North Police are reporting that a six-month long probe into the murder of a farmer in the parish has resulted in the arrest and charge of one of the two suspects. The deceased 52-year-old Calbe Campbell of Top Mountain District, Kitson Town in the parish, was shot dead on June 9 of this year. Charged with murder is Delon Willis, otherwise called Teflon, of Paradise Road, St. James, and Fraser's Content, Spanish Town in St. Catherine. Reports are that on June 9, Campbell was locking up a shop he operated when two men both armed with handguns walked in. The men allegedly robbed Campbell of his properties and before making their escape, opened gunfire at him, hitting him in the abdomen. Campbell was assisted to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. On Monday, December 28, Willis was apprehended by the police and was subsequently charged after being pointed out in an identification parade. A date for his appearance in court is being finalized by the police. The investigation continues in search of the second suspect. Search on for 17-year-old boy gone missing in Spanish town. An Ananda alert has been activated and a search is on for 17-year-old Nicoy Blake of Rivoli Spanish Town in St. Catherine, who has been missing since Tuesday, December 29. He is of brown complexion, medium build, and about 170 centimeters tall. Reports from the Spanish Town police are that Nicoy was last seen at home. His mode of dress at the time he went missing is unknown. All efforts to contact him since then have been unsuccessful. Anyone knowing the whereabouts of Nicoy Blake is being asked to contact the Spanish Town Police at 876-984-2305, the Police 119 emergency number, or the nearest police station. Material and Equipment Damaged in GPS Fire Jamaica Public Service Company is assessing the fire at its Washington Boulevard St. Andrew storage facility on Thursday morning with the aim of determining the full cost and extent of the damage that was done. Director of Corporate Communications and Customer Experience at the company, Winsome Column, said the fire damaged the material and equipment, but no one was injured and no structure was burnt. The fire seemed to have started sometime after 2 o'clock this morning. We do not know the cause of the fire. The assessment is actually still being done as to the extent of the damage, and I expect that coming out of the investigation, we will have a sense of what would have caused the fire. I can confirm that no one was hurt and no building was damaged, but JPS lost some material and equipment was damaged in the fire, said Colum. The fire blazed for approximately four hours before six units from York Park, Trenchtown, Port Royal, Rollington Town, and Halfway Tree, as well as a water pumper from York Park, extinguished the flames. Residents in neighboring communities said they heard a loud explosion before the fire got started. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Select all so that you get daily news updates.